Simon's comments about us were absolutely outrageous. But what I found really shocking as well is that apparently we learned that this was at a town hall meeting where there were 400 members of staff and their staff were saying we're, we're neo-Nazis and we're Islamophobes. And it, it, it's absolutely astonishing, apart from being completely bonkers, obviously, I find it really astonishing that the level of discourse is, is what you'd expect from a not very bright teenager. And and why why were they even discussing you anyway? That's the bit I don't understand. Like, do they not have anything more important to discuss? Um, are you planning to sue? Because we are seeing a lot of court cases, and they've been very useful in terms of establishing the rights that we have to say that you know a man can't become a woman, you know, and protected rights in employment. Uh, but also these cases that are being brought about between uh, the LGBT alliance and, uh, and 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 mermaids. We'll come into that. But are you are you thinking about suing? Because these are outrageous, libelous comments. Well, we're certainly not just going to let it lie. I mean, what's totally absurd about it is that these really extreme ideas within these organisations are so out of kilter with the sensibilities and the views of the general public. And, and we're the people that are paying for this funding yeah. through, our, through our tax money. And it isn't just the Arts Council. We see this infecting charities, government departments, public bodies... Uh, and we see people within those organisations who, who I think it, broadly many of them would support us and think that we're mainstream and that we're mm. sensible. But it's created a culture where people are really afraid to speak up about yeah. it. And I think that's extremely dangerous as well. But you've got a small core of ideologues driving policy, mm. making funding decisions worth hundreds of millions of pounds within this atmosphere of fear that they're creating. Yeah. And we're not afraid of them, so we're quite happy to, to stand up and be counted. But then we have to face the, the vitriol that we get in return. And I think I think that's why people um, would call us homophobic or transphobic yeah. or Islamophobic, because they're afraid that we're derailing the narrative. We're yeah. saying, you know, the emperor has no clothes. It's ridiculous. What you're saying is crackers. And, 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 and also what they're saying is, agree. but yet most, the vast majority of people in this country uh, think, think these ideas are mad. But you say they've taken hold in the media. They've taken hold of places like Ofcom. Hi, Ofcom. They've taken hold in, in, in all of these big quangos, all of these big charities, uh, in the hearts of government, in big business, the HR departments. They're, it's a, they seem to have taken over. And yet these are not majority of your views. If you ask most people, you know, can a man become a woman? Is a trans woman a woman? No, they don't think that. Do you think that, uh, do you think a man with a penis should be able to walk into a girl's toilet. No, they don't think that. These things are, you know, yeah. is a lesbian, is a lesbian transphobic uh, and a bigot because she won't have sex with a, someone with a male body, i.e. what we used to call a man. Um, these things are not complicated to most people. And yet there seems to be this little world where they've taken on these views. And I, I put this to Labour politicians. I mean, for most of the last couple of years, could, can, does a woman have a penis? Does a man have a cervix? And, and they sort of, oh, we don't know. We don't want to talk about those things. Well, no, it's a sign to me of honesty and a sign to me of sanity. If you can't answer those questions in only one way, by the way, uh, you're, you're either dishonest or you're insane or possibly both. And we shouldn't have people in charge of any public funds who are either insane or dishonest. 